Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Apple unveiled its highly anticipated new smartphone today, and with that comes the big question about what to do with your old phone. The new iPhone 5 will hit stores next week and include some big changes in the popular phone design. Susan Hogan joins us now with the details from the Apple Store in Providence. The iPhone 5 has been in the works for more than a year. Now Apple fans are going to find out if it was worth the wait. Apple's new iPhone 5 rose up onto the stage on a pedestal as a company executive showed off the smartphone's new features. It is the most beautiful product we have ever made. The new iPhone has a larger 4-inch display, a taller, slimmer design, longer battery life, a faster processor, and 4G LTE for quicker data speeds. One of the biggest changes is a new connector to attach the iPhone to other brands of computers and chargers. Apple will offer an adapter so it can plug into older accessories. Well, the great news is it's the same price as the iPhone 4S it replaces. The iPhone will cost between $199 and $399 and go on sale September 21st. With so many fans now wanting the iPhone 5, the big question now is what do you do with your old iPhone? Well, we've got some ways to make some money out of it. But before you do, deactivate the SIM card and then sell it. Gazelle.com is one tech experts recommend. You can donate it and get the tax write-off or trade it in for upgrades. Identity theft experts say before getting rid of your old iPhone, perform a complete wipe by clicking on settings, then general, reset, and erase. Delete apps and transfer pictures and contacts. Now, if you want to sell your iPhone yourself, you can certainly use sites like Amazon or eBay and tech experts say you'll probably get a better value for your phone on those sites. But of course, as you know, it's a lot more work by doing it yourself. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you want to be a Call for Action volunteer with me, call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.